Leo, welcome to your work and money tarot reading for March. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. So I have got here Scorpio general guiding energies. I have four cards, work career and four for money finance. So let's jump in and, and see what's on the cards for you. I love the look at the first one because it talks about clearing debts. If there's been something you've trying to been trying to pay, pay off, um, you know, work back, it feels like you will be able to make some moves towards that this month. This one says your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well so it might not even have been you know just debt it might be that you have been overburdened with you know work or um, obligations in the workplace and it feels like you can really energetically get on top of that this month it's time to take action new moon in Aries and the Aries energy is all about bold moves you know about stepping onto new paths um, it's a really about fiery action and determination to move ahead so it feels like it's going to be a really um, an action month for you not a passive month six of pentacles is about things coming back into balance when we're talking about our pentacles about our security our stability and our, you know our money now I often say with the Six of Pentacles, maybe up until now, it's been a bit out of your control or somebody else has been in control of your financial position. This could look like in a relationship, you know, financial um, dependence on somebody or even financial dependence on an employer, not being able to, you know, change jobs because, you know, not even being able to make that transition. Um, and it talks about taking control of that you embodying the emperor energy which is also Aries getting in control into the driver's seat and turning things around so that you have the control and the power over your finances so it's a real sort of from bigger to emperor energy let's see how this is playing out in your story here so over in work control and work and um, career we've got the king of wands this is Leo energy and it is somebody who is taking the leadership position in their life Scorpio it's also the energy of being really discerning so in your work career you might be wanting to take a step up the ladder um, it could be an entrepreneurial journey as well and it's about taking the action this month to step onto that journey whatever it is for you king of wands could also be somebody that you are dealing with in the workplace as well generally somebody who's in a position of authority now what's blocking you here from really stepping up and leading the charge here is the four of pentacles so the four of pentacles is the scarcity financial scarcity or holding on to a situation for perceived you know reasons of perceived or real loss um, maybe because it you know it's the known as well but what it's doing is it's keeping you you know it's really keeping you playing smaller than what you truly are here Scorpio so that's what I'm feeling you wanting to take a move beyond where you are but the financial aspect or maybe the fear of loss is holding you back and I can see that you know it's been a real battle around the finances for you so the advice is the three of cups and this is a celebratory energy um, it's a creation energy and it's about planting the new seeds and if you do then generally you will reap the rewards here now I'm going to grab some clarifiers because the outcome is the eight of swords which is you know still feeling stuck to fully move onto that path but generally the message behind the eight of swords is that you just need to take a different viewpoint you're not actually stuck there is a way through it but it might be that you're really trying to think your way through this when really you need to take a different approach what do we need to know about that we've got the judgment okay yeah so definitely you are feeling stuck where you are right now you know I always say it's the devil energy in these small spaces and what links to the devil is you know debt um, financial burden um, you know financial codependency as well so I think there's been something there that's really held you back now judgment wants you to liberate from that and I think you really have 
had that awakening that you need to to move forward now I think that you're feeling like I couldn't make that move. You know, what What if I lose more? But the three of cups and the reading and the advice says that's going to work out for you. You're going to celebrate that. Just be really, really discerning if you are looking to move on to a new opportunity or if this is around investing in something new. Just make sure that you've got your eyes peeled and that you are really feeling intuitively into this as well as using your logic. Judgment is one step before the world, which is closing a really big cycle. So I actually think that you're moving towards quite a major change in your work career. And you're really being asked to take steps towards that in March. Okay, Scorpio, money. Yeah, I can see that there's been some battles or struggles here. The Five of Swords can be, look, it just feels like a losing game. And I think there have been losses along the way. I mean, the Five of Cups is in the outcome, which shows that there's been some disappointments here. But it also feels that you might need to... Um, Look in a different direction for your financial abundance, hence the changes in work, okay? Because the Knight of Swords is in the challenge, and the Knight of Swords is progress, you know, quick progress and change, um, and, and really being able to overcome that battle, okay? It's Gemini energy, I also have Taurus energy in the advice. The advice for overcoming these challenges or these losses that you've experienced is the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles is Taurian energy. It's a really about being careful what you with your financial commitments that could have created debt situations. So, I really think it's time to go through a, a careful reevaluation um, process as to you know all of your you know, whether there are higher purchases or debts or contracts, they could even be your, you know, your rent or mortgage contract. And you might have some re-evaluations and renegotiations. The King of Pentacles, you know, can become abundant and turn things around, but it's through that careful and considered process, okay? That is what I'm feeling here. You may also receive some advice from a financial planner, somebody in the banking industry, a business owner, or maybe a father, father-in-law type figure with the King of Pentacles as well. Now the outcome is, yes, you know, you have been navigating some losses, but we start to see new opportunities coming in. And I think it's related to you shifting out of your work career situation. So let's get another one for that Scorpio. I mean, the two fives coming through is you're at an important point of change, but it feels like you'll need to take a different approach because we know how the saying goes. If we do the same thing, then generally we get the same result. What we really need to do, you know, from bigger to emperor is take control, you know, be strategic. This is about you starting again at the foundation, making sure that is really firm before you take on more financial commitment, okay? That's what the emperor would do. There's a certain amount of needing to protect yourself here as well. Um, protect yourself during the process. And, you know, you can rebuild here. You can rebuild your empire is what I'm really hearing. This is an Aries energy. Again, this could have been a business journey where there was, was some, you know, some loss along the way. But I'm hearing that you can rebuild, but you really need to return to the foundation and just ensure that everything is strong there before expanding, before, you know, building more or taking on employees or whatever it might be, or over investing or over extending in the, your expenditure. All right, let's let's get some oracles to close out. Awakening, well, that's the judgment energy right there. It says, Awake me from my life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. So, you know, no judgment, literally, um, but maybe there are some things that you might not have been seeing in the past, and you might be awakening to multiple truths here and where your energy, where your time, where your money has been gone, and where it may be better placed in the future. Yeah, it's an it's a month of clearing and if we do have financial issues, it is an energy that hangs around and affects other areas of our lives. So this is during crises, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear 
and attachments preparing you to receive her luminous plan so if you have gone through losses I'm being told here that is uh, not only for you to learn those lessons but you're actually clearing energy and clearing a situation so that you can then work on the rebuild so I'm wishing you all the best for that Scorpio I'm always cheering you on and of course wishing you love and magic for the journey Take very good care of yourself and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.